Welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly burn a bootloader and upload a blink sketch to this Atmega 328P-AU microcontroller using just the standard Arduino IDE software. I'm using this Pololu USB AVR programmer. In previous videos I've used a USB ASP programmer, but I found that this Pololu unit is so much easier to use. To install my microcontroller in my breadboard, I'm using this 32-pin TQFP clamshell test adapter. I bought it for about $12 on AliExpress. For the basic circuit, I'm bringing 5 volts and ground to pins 4 and 5 across a 10 microfarad decoupling capacitor. I have a 16 MHz oscillator across pins 7 and 8 with twin 22 picofarad capacitors and I'll be driving an LED through pin 14 through a 470 ohm resistor. Pin 14 is GPIO 10 on the Arduino Nano. I'll have a link to a breadboard layout in the description of the video, which will include all the wiring to the in-system programming uh, connections to the Pololu programmer. I'm also supplying 5 volts and ground to pins 18 and 21 for good measure. Let's get started by opening up a fresh chip and installing it in the test adapter. The chips come in this tape and reel package arrangement. This chip format is called TQFP32, which just means that it's a 32-pin surface mount device. Be very careful that the little circle goes in the test adapter at pin 1. Now let's connect the ISP in-system programming connections to the programmer. There are six connections required for burning the bootloader and uploading sketches. The programmer also comes with a ribbon cable, but for this example I'm just going to use breadboard connector cables for simplicity. VCC and ground go to the power and ground rails on the breadboard. The reset connection goes to pin 29 on the microcontroller. The SCK clock connection goes to pin 17. And finally the MOSI and MISO communication lines go to pins 15 and pin 16 on the microcontroller. Now we're ready to connect the programmer with a USB cable to the laptop. I've already installed the correct software from the Pololu website on my computer. And I'll open Device Manager so you can see what happens when I plug in the programmer. Both COM ports appear as soon as I plug in the programmer. The descriptions for the programming port and the serial port should look just like this. If they don't, you may need to right click and upgrade the drivers. All in all, both COM ports and the USB device now appear in Device Manager. And now we're ready to open up the Arduino IDE. We'll be using this software to burn the bootloader and to upload a couple sample sketches. When we look through the board manager, we don't see anything that relates to an Atmega 328 chip. It's because it isn't there. We need to add a core package called MiniCore, but it's not available in the list by default. 
to add it, we need to add additional board managers by pasting in this URL. While we're here, we also want to select Show Verbose Output during Upload so we can see what's happening. Now when we open Board Manager, it appears in the list and we can install it. It takes a little while to download, but now that it's installed, we can go back to Tools and see a whole new category with MiniCore. And there very, at the very top is the Atmega 328. Now back in Tools, we can see that a whole bunch of options are now available to us. The Clock Speed, Brownout Detection, EE Prom, Compiler LTO, and Chip Variant which uh, we have the P version, so we don't have to change any of these. Now is a good time to talk about the fact that all of the Atmega328 chips come from the factory empty. That means they don't have a bootloader, they have no way to communicate with the Arduino IDE. So one of the first things we're going to do now is to load a bootloader. To do that, we will select the board as an Atmega328 microcontroller. Now we'll check that all of the settings are still the same and what we want. And we'll have to make sure that the COM port is on COM6 because remember in Device Manager the serial connection was COM5 and the programmer was COM6. So now we choose the programmer. It needs to be STK500 as ISP. I'll just widen up the console here so we can see all of the verbose output and we will select burn bootloader. And as quick as that it's done. We saw from the LEDs that it flashed a few times and all of the log output seems to show that it burnt successfully. So I think now we're ready to create a sketch and upload it to the microcontroller. We'll select the example blink sketch as a starting point. Here's the code from the example sketch. Obviously our Atmega328 doesn't have an onboard LED. So we'll just change that to GPIO 10 where we've installed ours. So now we're ready to upload it to the microcontroller. First we need to change the board to an Arduino Nano. And the reason we choose a Nano is because the Atmega328 is exactly the same chip that's used on the Nano. So the Arduino IDE doesn't see any difference. For the programmer, now we'll have to choose the Atmel STK500 development board. I've widened up the console so we can see what's happening. And we will upload using programmer. First it needs to compile the code, which takes a few seconds. and then it starts uploading. And as quick as that, it's complete. And the LED is blinking on and off every second, just like the code intended it to do. Now let's try using one of the most interesting features of the Pololu device, because it has a serial connection on port five, which we can use at the same time. So let's connect this jumper cable from the transmit pin on the microcontroller to the serial receive pin on the Pololu programmer. Then we'll be able to watch all the serial data from the Arduino IDE console. So back in the sketch, let's start up a serial connection in the setup loop by typing serial 
dot begin and 9600 baud. And down uh, after we turn on the LED, let's uh, write to the serial port the phrase on. And after we turn it off, let's also write to the serial port the word off. Okay, and we'll widen up the console and upload using Programmer. And it looks like it worked. Let's open up a serial monitor on COM5. Remember that's our serial port on the Pololu device. And voila, on, off, on, off and as you can see is synchronized with the LED. So I hope this video is useful and shows how easy it is to migrate from an Arduino development board like this Arduino Nano to uploading sketches to the microcontroller itself. All of the sketch, all of the code, all of the GPIOs are exactly the same and it's really not that difficult. So thanks for watching and see you next time.